It's so nice to be here and quick point of privilege, my aunt, Carmine Tribble, who is class of 65, sends her regards. I actually talked to her this morning. She's sorry she can't be here with you all. Well, I first met Catherine Webster in an airport while we were waiting for a flight to Vietnam. Like the rest of the students who would be my service travel partners for the next two weeks, she sat on the floor talking excitedly with her new friends. But her curious nature and quick wit drew me to her immediately, and we have been fast friends ever since. Her mother, Monica, and I joke, and Monica's here, her mother, Monica, and I joke that she calls me her second mother, <clears throat> although I'd like to think of myself as more like her slightly older sister. <laughs> but let me tell you a little bit about Catherine. She was born in South Florida and raised in Greenwich, Connecticut. She's a junior, and she's pursuing a Bachelor of Science degree in Business and Enterprise Management and minors in statistics and computer science. So, she's smart as a whip. But she's also a true leader. She serves as chair of the Judiciary Committee in Student Government. She's a representative for the Student Budget Advisory Council, and she's a president's aide. She's also an active member of the ethics debate team. Catherine's also embraced our motto of pro humanitate by serving as special events chair for the Volunteer Service Corps and fundraising chair for both Project Pumpkin and Wake and Shake, as well as helping the state pro humanitate day last year. She's also a passionate advocate for equal access to education. She serves as both president of the North Carolina Association of Blind Students and as secretary treasurer of the National Association of Blind Students. She's also the national student of legislation, national student legislative chair for the National Federation of the Blind. Have you caught your breath yet? <laughs> as you can see, Catherine takes things on and she gets things done. In fact, the only time Catherine's typically sunny, sunny disposition is rattled is when someone tells her she can't do something, whether it's stepping onto a rickety boat in Vietnam or studying advanced mathematics. Luckily, can't is, a word, is not a word that our students hear very often at Wake Forest. When Catherine registered for Dr. Rob Earhart's statistical modeling class, he immediately began working on a solution to allow Catherine to study visually represented data like graphs and scatter plots. Working with Dr. Schumann of the Learning Assistance Center, the three of them figured out a way to combine various technologies to allow her to study this advanced course. So while Catherine's accolades and accomplishments are impressive, they really aren't the reason she's captured my heart. What I love about Catherine is the way she rushes toward life with abandon and at the same time with a sense of purpose that belies her young age. Her resilience and resolve have opened my eyes to the potential of the students who attend Wake Forest University. Let's hear from her now.